It's night. I'm Meliotis and welcome to my channel. So today I have here seven combos that I am quite obsessed with. Um, I've used them a few different times. Um, some are newer than others, other ones I've been using for quite some time. Um, so if you're interested in seeing some fragrance combos, this is just a perfume on perfume or well, like no body, nope, nope, that's not necessarily true. It's like fragrance, there's no lotions or bath stuff or anything included in this, it's just fragrance um in this particular combo video let me know if you're interested in a part two or like a fragrance and something else combo video i will, will gladly be able to do that but let's just jump in here there has a quite a few many a many a combos out there that i like to use with my collection um but these i feel as if i mean like i said there's some new ones but i fell in love heavy for the new ones um but we're gonna just jump right into it. I don't necessarily, so I have fun with my fragrances, okay? Like you should, okay? This is fun, it's hobby, it's good times. Uh, and so they're not gonna always be because they have the exact same. No my mind is an interesting and fun place to be. <laughs> um, so some of, I haven't seen anyone per se, I mean, I don't, watch a billion in one of these combo videos but i've watched a few and i haven't seen these combos that's not to say that's not to say that someone else hasn't had these combinations but they're not supremely popular combinations so a lot of this is going off of your skin chemistry how it works with the fragrances what it pulls for the fragrances um and then how of course they work together on your skin and your new clothes so I keep trying to defend myself and y'all don't even know what my stuff is. Basically, be nice, okay? And if you have these fragrances, let me know um, if you've tried any of these combinations or at, if you see me talking about them and then you go try the combination, let me know how it worked out on you. So the first one is gonna be Guess Seductive Red and Banana Republic's Dark Cherry and Amber. This right here, so I did take write down some notes um, because like I said, I don't necessarily always go for note breakdown. I go for what smells that I feel like are similar or I feel like I'm missing something or I want to add something to a particular scent. These just both happen to be cherry scents. Um, I think one is like a sour cherry and one's like a regular cherry, but cherry all the same. They both share cherry blossom and then one has praline and one has vanilla. Pr basically a very like nice sweet note. Um, in them and I just get the most delicious um, sensual flirty fun freak like smell like it's definitely very cherry forward um, it's sweet okay it's sweet yes seductive right it's like a fruity flirty fun um, the dark cherry and amber is a little less so but still around that category um, and I really enjoy this when I'm going like I think like going out um, we're going out in general so i'd be going out to eat going for a drink going to the movies basically this is one like for like my significant other i would wear around and then i've actually worn this around nighttime in my home as well i don't wear this particular one to bed though i'm going to be honest i think it's a little too strong for the bedtime although it's not the longest longevity combo if that makes any sense let's keep on moving so the next one is um gucci guilty's love edition um and valentino pink so <clears throat> they Gucci Guilty has a raspberry note and this has a um and Valentino pink has a strawberry note but it's a very berry-esque type of smell together um and then like <clears throat> I think Gucci Guilty has like a fresh note or a watery notes type of vibe. And then there's like Peony and Rose, which is like a watery-esque type of vibe in Valentino Pink. But they're both, for here, they just, they give me a similar like, a similar smell to them um, in the sense of like, oh, maybe not smell, but vibe. Yeah, there's like this powdery, floral, musky, sweetened, 
floral, floral type of fruity vibe that goes to both of them. So they're slightly different, but the, the essence of them is basically very similar. Um, and they work so well together. Oh my gosh, I feel so girly and feminine and like i should be wearing uh like i just feel super super girly with this combo i actually want a full bottle of gucci guilty love i need to go start looking for it because i heard it is um discontinued which is one of the reasons why i even got a decanted version to see if i should go rush to go even buy this and i absolutely adore this i absolutely adore this and i've actually been wearing this a little bit more lately um because i think the last month i had this on my tray and i only wore it like twice so I've been loving this combo together and I can show you, you can't really see the juice in Valentino pink, but you can see I've been wearing, yeah, and I have worn them together a few times and I really just like how it makes me feel when I wear it. I love how I, they are just very feminine, they're powdery, they're sweet. Um, I don't really wear them like if I'm going to be outside, outside because they're very sweet and floral spending. So you know, say, you know what I'm going to say next? the bees okay i can't i can't i can't i can't i can't i'm not trying to attract the bugs them all right moving forward okay this is a very new combo i don't listen no one else no one else smells coconut in reb floor for some reason i'm getting like a coconutty vibe i don't think coconut's even a note in this fragrance no someone it's the no it's the um patchouli there's a creaminess which maybe be is why i i, I kind of say coconut i don't know i love this for it's very expensive smelling like i love it and um but i love it more in the dry down i like patchouli but the patchouli i like it because if the patchouli wasn't in there i probably would feel like it's a basic fragrance i don't know i don't know i feel a little bit placed with this fragrance but i'm a love i love it the dry down is the best. The best, best thing about this is mixing it with late the cocoa. Because I feel like it adds more of a creaminess to it. And the coconut really just bursts in my face. So this calms down a little bit of the patchouli and red fleur. It really pulls like this coconutty creamy vibe to it. Oh, and if you just give it a couple, like a couple minutes, the late de coco simmers down a little bit. It only lasts about two hours, two and a half hours. Oh my gosh, but the coconut in here. In late de coco, the coconut, it gets literally like the meat of the coconut. Um, have you had like the meat of a coconut before? Like you've gone to a Caribbean island or something, drank from the coconut, well, um, like an actual coconut, and then given it to them, they'll chop it open for you. And then you can scoop out the actual like meat of the coconut. That is what this smells like. And together, it just creates this very tropical, yet almost like girl boss. Like maybe like you work from wherever the hell you feel like working from right so not work from home although sometimes yeah you have to take your behind home but like the, you're, you're vacationing a lot and like warmer climates and you're doing your work from in a pool or oh my no it's so beautiful this almost funifies rub fleur rub fleur for me is very grown woman sexy for the price it's absolutely wild and this gives it a little bit more fun, a little bit more pizzazz, whereas Rub Fleur was almost quite serious for me. But the coconut in it is, I think it's the patchouli that makes it almost quite serious for me. And the late de coco in there, guys, it's so wild. And that's such an affordable combination. Late de coco, this small one, I think it, it was $13 and it's a one fluid ounce. And Rub Fleur, I think was around the same price for one fluid ounce. And it smells so good together. Mmm please try that combo it's so affordable that i'm gonna recommend you guys just get both of them if you know you're not gonna like patchouli at all don't get red fleur don't try this combo but if you have one or the other or you have both please either go get the other one and try it and let me know what you think like i said this is not the longest lasting combo although red fleur lasts about five hours on my skin for sure the patchouli might even be six hours it really just depends on what i layer it with Late the cocoa only gives you about two, two and a half. Together, around five hours, for sure I'm going to smell something on me. It's such a great... My mind's exploding. I love it. This next one, okay. This next one has 
no so it was an accident and that it was one of those like big bangs like you sat there and you were like oh no i just this is about to be really intense and then after a while you were like this is absolutely what what did i uh, I, I did something amazing <laughs> so what i'm talking about is versace versense which if you know i i really only like this a lot when it's warm it's muggy out today so it's quite warm and it's just the it's giving like the citrus in here like the mandarin orange in here really shines almost like yuzu in the heat then it's giving me like cheaper version of chanel chanel fresh like similar but different when you add some fig and there's fig in that but when you add a creamy fig like angels or corsair to it no saman go on to your bed there's something oh no 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 so versace <laughs> versace versant is like a clean citrus Mm -mm. Mm. this is such a sexy look at me now mm. look at me now mm. i don't know what the lyrics are look at me let me stop but <laughs> no it's the it's like i think there's fig and praline in here it's woody the dry down and also Versace Versace is woody as well. So if woody is going to bother you, it does get quite woody in the dry down. Woody for me is very grown. Oh, but this is sweetened. So the Versace Versace is like a citrusy sweet. This gives it almost like a, you added some flavoring to it, okay? And the fig in here, I feel like it's stronger than a fig in Versace Versace. The Versace Versace fig is almost like a cleaner, fresher, slightly sweet fig. This is like a slightly creamy more pungent pungent is a bad word to use because pungent is bad but like stronger fig this is a fig fragrance versace first sense to me has fig in it but it's a citrusy fragrance and they both have woody aspects to them but it makes this such an intoxicating like fruit like a citrus bowl and then you took fig and you fig and like maybe some vanilla and you ground it all together and then liquefied it and then strained it and then poured that over the stitch. It's so beautiful. I absolutely adore this. This has been one I've been wearing a bit because of the warm weather. Versace Versace is a very safe fragrance to wear in the heat um, for me, especially with fucking bees. <laughs> Um, and the eau corselle just adds a, a feminine touch. The fig in the eau corselle, Angel's eau corselle, is so feminine to me. Could be also the praline. Long story short, it as a whole is very feminine to me. And together, they just make this very intoxicating, I've gotten compliments with it, type of smell, type of scent. If you have both of these, please try it out. Versace Versant is, is, is affordable. Angel eau corselle is mid, like mid-price range. But it's something I would recommend. And I think it's a 2020 version that I have. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. The next one. Oof. The next one is actually quite affordable. Um, this is uh, this is my very citrusy, sweet green tea type of fragrance. So we have Elizabeth Arden's green tea. This is just a body splash. Okay. Um, But I'm obsessed with it. Right now it's smelling heavy on the green tea, but it's like a, for me, like an orange peel green tea type of smell. And then one that's quite new to my collection is I Love Love by Moschino. There is a, like a, like a peel, but like maybe like the lemon peel of, of like a lemon peel. It's just basically very citrusy. This is very bright. Um, and this is more peel green tea like you while up some green tea with orange peel in it and this is a bright citrus and together they create this like fresh sweet citrus smell that you can go to the gym in it's very casual i wouldn't i don't wear this like going anywhere like i'm trying to be extra like, yeah, i'm trying to shoot bougie i'm trying to be all that all that wait 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 stop what's the words 
mm, with Amanda Bynes? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh no, I'm gonna age myself. Let me talk to foolishness. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is just very fun. This is very casual. When I'm going to the store, shopping, whatever, I spray this on when I know it's gonna be booming. Oh Jesus, this is what. <laughs> This is what I wear. Did anyone understand what I just said? <laughs> it's giving foolishness. Uh, nay. Anyway, the next two are more mid price range, but mid price in a way that isn't like upper mid price, like lower mid price. Okay, so I've been talking about these two fragrances a lot, and I just have to say to you well, these next four, I've been talking about a lot, and because they have me in a choke hold i did drop a video i'm gonna put it in one of these cards um about choke my choco fragrances and i think all four of these are in the choco fragrances i love this listen 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 to me come here come here are you listening burberry her edt is not to be not to be messed with don't play with her. Days Mark, okay. Daisy's Mark Jacobs, oh so intense. Don't romp with her. Don't play with her. Don't romp with her. Are you understanding the difference? Don't play with her. Don't romp with her. All right. This is this is the best pear strawberry combo that you are going to smell outside of like like Bath and Body Works type stuff. I'm talking about fragrance wise. Please take your behind and go smell these. And um, I think you can. Ulta. I think you can get both of these. Um, I think that's where I got them is Ulta. <sighs> it smells so good. So let's break down real quick the smell. Burberry her eau de toilette. And don't let the eau de toilette fool you. All right. She is a ninja in hiding because she lasts a decent amount of time. She lasts a decent amount of time. I'm literally. Now you're so obsessed with she. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. It's the strawberry, the pear, the musk, the sweetness, the slightly powderiness in the dry down for me fresher so i do wear this even if i'm gonna be outside i just don't over, over spray because it is slightly sweet but it's not too too sweet it's gorgeous this fragrance is so gorgeous i like the burberry her the um eau de parfum and i will own the eau de parfum but the first burberry her i purchased like the full bottle of was this one because i think one it came out brand new and i wanted to try it and the notes just called my name Say my name, say my name. Beautiful. This fragrance, so this was, um, I got an Ulta. Um, and this was basically, they had a Marc Jacobs Daisy five time points. If you buy any of the Marc Jacobs Daisy line. And so I was going through all of the Marc Jacobs Daisy. And I liked most of them. So I'm going to eventually own most of them. This snagged my attention. I really don't, I mean, actually, I'm getting a little dense already, but I don't wear this if I'm going to be outside too much because it, the, the big strawberry, I think it's big strawberry that's in here, is strong in this one. If your skin loves strawberry, if you like the smell of strawberry on you, if your partner likes the strawberry smell on you, if you want to be, listen, listen, this is, this is a channel for everybody, but I'm just saying, if you want some love and affection, put this on. Put this, put it on his face. <laughs> Let me. <see. laughs> Maybe this isn't for the kids, okay? This this particular video, this particular episode is not for the kiddos, okay? The strawberry, okay, so the pear is stronger in here with the strawberry accent. This is strawberry with a pear accent. I do believe there's pear in here. No, Saman, beautiful, beautiful, a thicker type of smell for sure so so girly oh my gosh i'm purchasing a bunch of dresses from um shein that are get wait till they come i'm gonna model them for you don't worry about it look for that video um i'm slowly adding a new style to my collection not because i just started liking it but because i have decided i don't give two sugars 
two teas, two black teas, two oranges, or two lemons about people's opinions of my dressing anymore. I've gotten more anime clothing, merch. I've 